folks, PC7 here. Welcome back to my little Let's Play. And this, of course, is the Technic Pack. And, as I said, I haven't really expanded too much since the last time. This is, um, sorry, finish that. This is the Technic Pack, and we're playing the Hexic Mod Pack. So I just cleaned up my little cave a little bit, made it a little tiny nicer. Not so much. And now that it's finally daylight, there's some things I need to find. First off, pretty much any sort of animal. Oh god. Damn it. You're ruining my landscape, laddie. I hate creepers. Truly, truly do. Hmm. They just ruined the neighborhood. So I need to find, although there's an amazing plethora of things here to discover, what I really need at this point is animals. But what I have discovered is that as pretty a spot as this is that we spawned in, it has one little issue. Um, no, not that it doesn't have animals. The problem is, see this high cliff behind us? Well, we're in the bottom of a tiny little valley and all the way around us are pretty much insurmountable cliffs. I mean, yeah, we can get over them, but... Quite a pain. So I thought... Let's try a more direct route. I have absolutely nothing to eat. I tried cooking up some zombie flesh because I heard something. So I can go up this way. Ooh, these. These are cool. These give you random items when you break them. Of course, sometimes they give you nothing. So I have this way that kind of gets us part way up into the forest. Alright. Or we continue on I have actually punched a hole right through now everywhere you see dirt on this side here there's actually a cavern there however we come out way over this side yeah a little bit different I'm just gonna leave a torch up here all right now we're out of our valley and there's that village the first thing I'm going to do is go over there and see what they have to eat <laughs> yeah it's time to scoop some crops because I am hungry alright wheat eh. not immediately wonderful what do we got here now we're talking now we're talking some carrots oh yeah Lovely. Uh, what's this? Uh, just ungrown wheat? Okay. Hey, village dude. An emerald, you'll give me three loaves of bread. Oh, well, I hope I never get that hungry, buddy. I'm going to take your carrot crop. Ah. Oh, lovely. Alright. While we're here, what else you guys got going on? Hmm? Well, there's a lot of you, isn't there? Hey, the blacksmith's house. Apples. Uh -huh. Ooh, nice iron leggings and an iron pickaxe and iron chest piece. Thanks for building those for me, buddy. I do appreciate it. What else we got going on? Uh, hmm. Uh, 
have no slabs of meat for you, dude. What do you got going on out here? Anything? What the hell is that? Wow. Emerald for four loaves of bread. Okay, so he's got not much of interest. Yeah. Weird. So that icky green water. That says I'm a fond of that. Emerald for some flint. An emerald for throw loaves of bread. Okay. Uh, you're creepy. Nice house, but nobody here. Hmm. What else we got? Oh, potatoes. Yeah, we'll have some potatoes. Thank you very much. Rest of it's wheat. Hello? Hello? No. Alright. Well, all in all, not exactly the most impressive village. So, good that we got a blacksmith. Too bad he only had that little bit of gear. Okay, we've gone to this house. And what else have we got going on here? Are you just dumb? Wow. It's certainly not the brightest bulb on the block, that one, eh? Is there a door here? Hmm. Huh. Haro crafting table, that's a good sign. Bookcases. Do I dare? Sure. Steal everything. Huh. Okay, well, that's kind of different. Now, what else we got? I don't know what those weird little roll-around type beetle things are, but they're a little strange. What do we got here? Uh, nothing. Hmm. Well, we got a whole lot of village with not a whole lot in it. Hmm. All right. But then I don't know if we actually have things like Thomcraft, etc. in here or not. So, All right, well, it doesn't seem like there's too much else going on with these guys. So, let's see what other sort of resources we can come up with. And what are you? An armadillo. And what did you give me? A small heart. Oh, okay. I suppose that's fair. Uh-oh. Okay. And more wheat. Some kind of a spawner, apparently. Hmm. Well, let's see what we get, shall we? Huh. Well, that's kind of weird. Would have expected there to be something in here. Hmm. I mean, something besides some mossy stone. Isn't that odd? I can hear them. spawner. Huh. That 
that's it. You had one zombie locked up in here? And no spawner. Well, that's kind of weird. Hmm. Alrighty, well. Don't make up the rules of the game. There we go. Ooh, you know, all kinds of stuff. What's that? Scrap meat. Ooh, sounds good. Say, there are a number of different and unusual items in this mod. Wow. Can we actually get up to that house? Somehow, anyhow. Huh. Maybe not. Eventually just killing time because it's gone and gotten dark on us again. Sand is another thing that I kind of need. Because we do want to get our smelter going. So, to do that, we are going to need sand. So that's basically what I've been doing this round, is checking out some of the odder items that come up, because there are a few of them. And, trying to gather resources. Now, as I said earlier, the machine building, etc. in this is quite limited. This is not like um, a Feed the Beast pack or the original Technic packs. This is far more about exploration and adventure. So, there we go. We finally made it to this guy's house. Hello. Oh, you had a bit of a sand leak. Hey, guys. Must suck being a pair of shears for three emeralds. Wow, 14 raw chickens. Holy carp. Alrighty, well. I don't suppose you guys have any sheep, do you? <laughs> That's really what I need, dudes, is some sheep. Because I have no way to sleep through the night. Oh, I know what we can do here. We can have ourselves at some armor. Look at that. Ta-da! Finally. Got a little bit of armor. Some oak. Sand, sandstone, small heart, eh? Hmm. Well, at least we got a little bit of food. Armadillo head. Ew. Everything drops its heads around here. Okay, well, we've got to wait for morning. Because, uh... Let's say I don't have any way to advance time here. You guys don't mind if I scoop up your sand, do you? I don't think so. And it's just conveniently sitting here. Hmm. Seemed like an awful short day cycle. There we go. Don't you guys agree? Kind of a short day, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. What about you? You think it was a short day? I don't know. Love what you've done with your nose. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> we don't want to be wandering around out there at night. It's bad enough how many enemies there is in the daytime. Hmm. Now it almost looks that just off sort of to the southwest there's something else possibly another village so 
As soon as the sun comes up, we're going to have to check that out. So I've been given a lot of thought as to what I want to do with the channel. And uh, a few things in the fire here. And uh, I might do a little bit more Star Maid. I'm also thinking there's another series I might start called Drifter. It's kind of a neat little in development type indie game. Um, I've still been looking at the farming simulator to see if there's sort of any new mods or maps that might be exciting enough to warrant doing another run through of that, but the problem is so far there isn't. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of really neat stuff to go with it, but I haven't found anything that's sort of game-changing. The one map that I did find that I thought might be really cool because it has a number of different grains, etc., that we've never dealt with before, seem to have some issues. I went to plant sunflowers, and uh, the cedar wouldn't even do one mile an hour. It was doing about a half mile an hour, which was kind of odd. Come on, daylight. Let's do this. Yeah, it would appear that off that way is something else, so... Huh. But, like I said, we gotta wait for daytime. So yeah, this is uh, basically what we're up to today, is trying to explore some more of this fine world, but for some reason the nights last forever and the days are like five minutes long, so... Um, you guys really should find a different place for your door, you know that? Like here would be better, don't you think? How about we just fix that for you? We'll take your nice door. And we'll put it here. There we go. What do you think of that? Oh, right, nobody lives here. <laughs> Once they let, I guess they stepped out the door, didn't they? Wow. Dumb buggers. Alright. I have a ca creeper bumping into the cactus. Ow. <laughs> That's funny. And the spider, now he's sitting on the cactus. What will possess you, dude? You're gonna die. And he did. What an idiot. <laughs> I tell ya. It really makes you wonder, boy. Yeah. Uh, but this, what is that? Look at that. It's like a vulture. Okay, that's kind of weird. I was gonna say, there's no end to uh, new and unusual stuff in this game. So. But. As the sun is now coming up. Jelly's shooting me.
That lizard was spitting poison stuff at me. Uh, I didn't like that. Ah, uh, creeper. There's no end to enemies in this. Okay, now... Somewhere over there was some more interesting objects. <laughs> Alright, well I guess having creepers blow up is one way to get some sand. Oh, I'd still rather just kill them for their goodies. Okay. Alright. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. Uh-huh. Wow. Look at that. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna wander over there and see what the heck that's all about. certainly have some bizarre looking biomes. Check this out. I mean, I've seen extreme hills before, but... You know? Ooh, I could use some reeds. I don't know what's going on with this. It's just a color, I guess. Ooh, look at this. A pirate ship. Ha! Huh. Oh, wow. And that's something. Alrighty, well. We'll definitely have to check that out. But I'm wondering what's going on here. Because that's quite the building. Hmm. Wow. Look at all the explosives in there. That guy's wearing diamond armor, is he? That's just weird. Whoa. What I don't see is a way in. Because there seems to be a trench all the way around the building. So... Oh, it's a pirate ship! What the hell are they doing? Somebody hit me that time. Hmm. So that's what's going on. That's a pirate ship. Alrighty. So now I think he's actually trying to hit me. Can't seem to click on them. Pirate Grenadier, right? Eh? Hmm. Hmm. 
problem is, my sword's just about worn out here, too. So. wasn't good. <laughs> I just lost everything. So, not good at all. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I'm uh, gonna make my way back to my base because that's far and far away too difficult for me to get back to. I'm going to take some of these berries because I can replant these bushes. Alright. Well, there you go. But at least I know that I'm not all that far from home. Although I think that was most of the metal I own consumed in that pickaxe and sword. <laughs> That's okay. It was almost empty anyway. But I lost all the potatoes I robbed from those guys. Huh. Alright. Well, <laughs> like I said, at least we have some berries. So. Let's plant some outside of our house, shall we? There we go. Alright, well. Uh, didn't quite go like we might have wanted, but live and learn and uh, I think until next time now you know what we've done here all I'm gonna do is try and gather some resources make back what I lost there um, yeah I've got just enough to either make a pickaxe or a sword but not both so it's <laughs> something we'll have to get on with right away here and uh, I think until then this has been Species 7 Hope you enjoyed the episode. We will bring you more next time, be a little more organized. I'm going to collect some sand and some clay. Oh, I lost all my sand too. As well, so that we can make a seared bricks and get our little smeltery going. Until then, well, take care of each other and ciao for now.